Hi everybody, this is Claire from Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I am wanting to post another video here uh, regarding animal readings. I am also able to tune into people's pets. Mine is going crazy right now. And come here, Chop Chop, come here, come on. And I just wanted to explain a little bit about that. Uh, I can tap into animals' energy tell you why they're acting the way they are and I don't know if I can tell anybody how to change that animal's behavior but it could probably tell you why they're behaving that way which might give you a little more compassion for that animal. I have two dogs. One is a Border Collie and the other one is a Silky Terrier. Come here Chop Chop. Come here. Come on. I want everybody to see you. Come here. Come on. Okay so this dog here is a Silky Terrier. His name is Chop Chop and I got him for free off of a buy and sell. He was in a kennel. Stop that! Stop that! He was in a kennel and that's where he lived for a very long time in a small apartment. And so luckily the owners had recognized this and uh, decided to give him away for free. He's about a $1,200 dog. He's microchipped, he's spayed, Sorry, he's neutered, he's got all his vaccinations. However, he will not get let me get close to him. I can read that he is emotionally unavailable, like all the men in my life in the past. For some reason, I am attracted to emotionally unavailable men. So this one here is no different. He, uh, for some reason, will not let me get close to him. He will sit on my lap, he will sit beside me, he looks at himself as a sergeant, as the police officer in this house, and that's fine. He uh, doesn't have much emotions. I don't know why he won't let me connect with him or the children. He is better with the children. I think it's to do with the past donors. I don't think they gave him much emotionally, so I don't think he knew how to connect. Uh, he will watch the house. He'll alert me when someone's coming. He seems to, he's like a good husband. A man who knows how to provide, a man who knows how to look after the house, a man who knows how to go to work and do his job and be dutiful and be very, uh, uh, how do you say it? It's like he knows how to play the part, but when it comes to the emotions, some men can't be emotional and that's what I get with him too. So I don't hold it against him at first. I didn't understand why he was behaving the way he was behaving. But now I get that uh, it's just the way he is. It's part of his personality. I like to call him my little Capricorn dog. But I, I think he was born in January for some reason. So I have a Border Collie who is sweet and loving and lovable and adorable and emotionally I have connected with her. She is sick right now. She's 12, she is, uh, got kidney disease. She, her kidneys are failing. The doctors have said there's nothing that can be done. I have said out loud to her, well, not to her, but out loud in conversation when she's not around. And dogs understand what you're saying. Even though they don't speak English, they get the vibes, they understand. Uh, I have said out loud to the children while she's around that I will not be getting treatment for her. There really isn't any treatment and even the doctors said that and that I may even be putting her down soon. Since I said that, she's been hiding from me. It's almost like, uh, she's right here in the corner, it's almost like she, um, her attitude is if I'm not seen and I'm not heard, she'll be forgotten about. So the other day I kind of looked at her and I said, I'm not going to put you down until the time comes. And as long as she is showing me that she's happy to be alive, because I have given her the best 12 years of her life, right girl, I know, I love you so much. So now she is, now she's here. She's beside me and she's not scared to show her face because she's just one of those kinds of dogs that were like, uh, if she sees me, 
then I'll then uh, I'm reminded that she's ill and I'll put her down and I'm not going to do that. So now she's been coming around more and she's been hanging around me and not worried or afraid. So if you are having troubles with your dog and you don't know why they're behaving the way they are, I can tell you, I can tap into that animal's energy. Animals have energy. They have souls. I think a lot of people don't believe that, but uh, they do. You look into their eyes. You can't tell me that's a soulless animal. So um, if you have any questions about that, email me. I'm more than happy to help with that. I'm giving free readings again until still until October the 1st. So go ahead, email me <clears throat> any questions, animals, uh, romance, whatever it is that you are interested in. Anyway, um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, bye.